In this video, I'm going to walk you through steps of uh, executing a stored procedure uh, using a plugin. Now, the plugins will be built in Power Platform uh, using all the user interface. Now, uh, as you might know, there's an app by Microsoft called as a Dataverse Accelerator. So it is built by the Microsoft Power Cat team. Now, the first step uh, to execute a plugin uh, within your Power Platform environment should be installation of this app. Now, if this app is not installed in your environment, you can navigate to App Source. Now, how you can navigate to App Source is clicking on solutions in your make.powerapps.com. Click on open App Source. Uh, here, you can search for Dataverse Accelerator app. Get it now, install it in your environment, and then uh, once it is installed, it will be visible in your app section. So this is your Dataverse Accelerator app. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this app. Now, before I uh, move ahead, uh, I just want to set some stage, OK? Uh, so what I'm going to demonstrate to you is like I'm going to write a plugin. The plugin is going to execute a stored proc, and the stored proc is going to do something, OK? Now, I'm in SQL Server Management Studio. Mm -hmm. I have this table called as persons. So I'm just going to show you what the data exists. So there are four records, and it stores information about that person, last name, first name, address, city. I'll just take last name, first name, and city. Uh, now, I have a stored proc written over here. What essentially that stored proc will do is going to insert a person from Guinea. Okay. Now, if I show you the stored proc, this stored proc basically does an insert on the person's table so it will add a last name first name and city so i have a stored proc stored proc takes three parameters and inserts that record into a person's table okay so the person's table has four records now now coming to this app how do we write a plugin to execute a stored proc is launch this dataverse accelerator app if the app is not installed install it from app source click on new plugin instant plugin the moment you do that it will ask you to uh, uh, write the name of your plugin i'll say uh, say plugin dash insert uh, records in person i get some name i can put some description uh, this plugin will insert record in backend sql db okay uh, then uh, before we even uh, move further what you can do is you on the right hand side you can select the solution where you want to store this plugin okay so i don't have anything so maybe i'll just put it in demo accelerator girish may 2023 and now here i have an option to select called as advanced option i launch the plugin visit so now this will take me to the visit to set up a connection to my sql server Okay, now I've already established the connection with the SQL Server, but if you uh, are using it for the first time, you need to go into new connection. Then it will prompt you for uh, connecting to your own SQL Server. Now there are a couple of steps you need to undertake. Uh, one is uh, you need to select the right authentication type. Uh, I prefer going for SQL Server authentication in my scenario. Uh, then in SQL Server authentication, I need to put the server name, database name, username, and password. Uh, you can also use some different authentication like a service principle or Azure AD integrated. Uh, the choice is up to you. OK, uh, once you do that, uh, you will be presented with uh, the screen. OK, uh, you select this connection. And next action will move to general will move to action. Connection will move to action. OK, so I just click on next to confirm the connection. There is a connector uh, action uh, called as execute stored proc v2. I click on it, click on next. Then it will uh, connect to the SQL Server and it will present me an option to select the stored proc name. Now there are store, two stored proc in my SQL Server which I have created insert person from uni and get uni by details by ID. Uh, let me go here and show you this way. Okay, so these are the couple of uh, stored prop which is there let me go back to the screen select insert person from uni and what i'm going to do is i need to put some 
parameter city first name last name okay now i'll say expose as input parameter expose as input parameter and expose as input parameter for first name last name and city okay i click on next now it will give you a screen to uh, show you what power effects expression it has built so this is a power effects expression built by uh, dataverse okay uh, i'm okay with it uh, i click create okay now my plugin is ready uh, uh, so it will start doing all those plumbing uh, and then my plugin infrastructure will be technically ready now when you run the plugin it will ask for three parameters first name last name city you need to provide this information and if everything works fine uh, it is it will going to add a record in sql server so how do we test it i click on test and now based on the parameter it is asking me for some information so in city i put london first name is mick last name is say johnson okay. so if uh, all the plumbings are in place uh, this plugin should run as as you see here it's a success okay uh, let me go into the sql server and run this command for pursuits and as you see over here this record the last record city london first name make last name johnson has been added so uh, essentially what we have done is we have created a plugin using ui in power apps or power platform uh, in that plugin we have executed an azure sql stored proc and that stored proc has done some action the action is basically an insert record so based on your business logic you can write down any functionality within your stored proc uh, maybe it might be uh, adding some records or deleting some record or maybe uh, running some another stored proc so so the capability is endless so uh, this is like a first step uh, provided by microsoft to you know like uh, provide uh, an infrastructure to a citizen developer to write a plugin uh, now why do you write a plugin you write a plugin because some of the functionalities uh, which is provided by out of the box by power apps or power automate is insufficient and you'd like to explore some other complex operations uh, to uh, execute your business logic so that's it folks uh, thanks for watching this uh, video uh, and uh, in my next video i'm going to cover more advanced topic with regards to plugin thank you